In this tutorial on Google Docs, we're going to take a look at some of the formatting and editing features that are maybe not as easy to find um, as you would find in Microsoft Word. I think that once you get into using Google Docs, you'll see that it's very similar to Microsoft Word and has most of the editing and formatting features that Word does. Uh, some of them are in different spots, different locations, and you would normally see them in Microsoft Word, so that's what I'm going to focus on here are some of the tools and commands that you have access to but maybe they're a little bit harder to find. So by default, when you start a new Google Doc document, you will get one inch margins all around the page. Top, bottom, sides will be one inch. If you want to change the margins, you're going to go to the File menu and click Page Setup. Right here are your margins. They are displayed in inches. So if you wanted a two inch top margin, you could type a two in there and that would change the top margin to two inches. You will also notice here under Page Setup, is where you can change the orientation. By default it will be portrait. If you would prefer a landscape orientation you could change that. If you're working with a different paper size you can change that here and your page color is also here. But if you want to change the margins of your document you need to go to file and page setup. Another thing that you can do in Google Docs is insert an image. And while inserting an image is not that difficult, um, once you get the image in your document, it works just a little bit differently than what Microsoft Word does. To insert an image, you can either click the Insert Image button on your Quick Access button bar, or you can go to the Insert menu and choose Image. Now for inserting an image in Google Docs, you have a variety of options. You can upload a document that you already have saved on your computer, you can find a, doc, or find a clip art picture on the web and insert uh, the image from an URL, copy and paste the URL here. You can do a Google image search, so right in your document if you want to put a picture in it, you can search Google right within your document. You can search Picasso web albums and you can also search some stock photos. I'm going to show you how to upload an image that you already have saved on your computer. So you can either drag and drop the image into this area here or you can click choose an image to upload. Find the image that you want to upload, click open and it will upload the image and place it into your document. Now we're going to, first thing we're going to do is resize this because it's a little big to see what we're working with here. So go ahead and click on the image to select it. You'll get your sizing handles and then you can simply click and drag to resize that image. Alright, so now it's a little smaller and you can see that by default when you insert an image it goes in line with the text. So the bottom, and I'll click off of it here for a minute so that you can see that, the bottom of the image will line up with the bottom of the line of text. You have basically two choices. So you can have the image be in line with the text, or you can choose fixed position. You can see with fixed position now the text is going to wrap around the image. So your, those are your two choices when you um, insert an image into your Google Doc. You do not have all of the wrapping features that Microsoft Word provides you with. Once you get the image in your document, um, you, you can move it a little bit, but you really don't have um, the ability to position that image wherever you want it. So you need to be sure that when you're working with an image that you, um, you know, kind of maybe format your document first, get all your text on there, and then decide where you want the image to be. So again, your choices are in line with text, which puts the bottom of the picture to the bottom of the text line, or you can do a fixed position, which will allow the text to wrap around the image. A tool that Google Docs and Microsoft Word both have in common is a format painter. And this is a tool that not a lot of people use, but if you did use it, it would make you a lot quicker at formatting uh, your document. So you can see here, I have gone ahead and I have changed the font, the size, and I have made the word quick bold. So it looks different from the rest of my uh, text here. I would like to apply those same formatting features to the word lazy. So one way I could do that is to highlight lazy, come up and select the font, change the size, and click the bold button. And that would take me four steps to do that. But I can also use the paint format tool to t apply the formatting that I have done to quick in one simple click. So I'm going to highlight the word quick and I'm going to come up here to the paint roller. This is your paint format tool. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Can you see how the paint format tool looks like it's selected now? That means that, that I, it's in use. 
So if I want to copy, so basically what I have done is I have copied the format of the word quick. So I have copied the font, the size, and the bold to the clipboard. Now I can apply that formatting to another word or group of words in my document. So if I want lazy to be formatted the same way, if I simply highlight the word lazy while my paint format tool is on, when I click to let go, notice how lazy has now has the same formatting that quick did. So instead of taking four clicks to apply the same formats to the word lazy, I did it in two. So that's the paint format um, tool. It's a paint roller and it's a very useful tool if you need to um, copy formatting from one area of your document to another. The last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is uh, the fact that with when you're working with a Google Doc you can actually download the document to your desktop to edit in another program. Um, that's not a feature you're going to find in Microsoft Word, but because Google Docs live in the cloud and you're editing online, they do give you that feature to be able to download the document. So we're going to go to the File menu and we're going to choose Download As and look at your options. You can download as an open office document, as a PDF, as a rich text file, is just a text file and with rich text and text a lot of times you lose the formatting that you've done so um, just keep that in mind you can download it as a word file or as a zipped HTML file so if I wanted to download this doc as a word file I would click Word and it's going to ask you do you want to open or save this file if you click open then it's going to go ahead and open Microsoft Word and you would be able to edit the same document, the same Google Doc, in Microsoft Word. We'll see it open here. And again, when you're downloading a document, you may lose some of the formatting. Uh, if we look at the Google Doc, remember how we formatted quick and lazy and we use the syncopate font? Well, on my computer I don't have the syncopate font and so what it's done is it's chosen a similar font um, to show those two words in. So you may lose some of the formatting that you have done in a Google Doc but this would allow you to edit the document in Word. So if I wanted to continue typing um, here I could do that. I can do anything I would normally would be able to do in Word I could do that to this document.